Boris Johnson has predicted Vladimir Putin will revel in the World Cup in Russia this summer in the same way that Adolf Hitler did in the Olympic Games in Berlin in 1936, and suggested the UK may advise English football fans to avoid travelling to the tournament for their own safety. The Foreign Secretary said about a quarter of the number of fans who travelled to watch England in Brazil in 2014 were currently expected to go to Russia. Said 24,000 people had purchased tickets, as opposed to 94,000 at the same point in the run-up to the tournament in Brazil. Johnson revealed that the British diplomat responsible for liaising with UK fans had been thrown out as part of the diplomatic expulsions in the wake of the poisoning of a Russian former spy, Sergei Skripal. Russia has also said it is closing the British consulate in St. Petersburg, restricting the ability of the UK embassy to help visitors in the event of violence. Johnson said he would be seeking urgent assurances from Russia that it would fulfill its obligations under the World Cup contract to ensure the safety of fans. I think it is up to the Russians to give us an undertaking that they will be safe, he said. Both Russia and England have a history of violent football fans, and the risk of fierce fighting between the two sets of fans appears to be higher given the political tensions. Russian Foreign Ministry responded to Johnson's remarks by saying he was poisoned with venom of hate, unprofessionalism and boorishness. It said, it's scary to remember that this person represents the political leadership of a nuclear power. Johnson was speaking to the all-party foreign affairs select committee and responding to remarks from the Labour MP Ian Austin, who called for England to pull out of the World Cup altogether. Putin is going to use it in the way Hitler used the 1936 Olympics. Austin said. Johnson replied, I think that your characterization of what is going to happen in Moscow, the World Cup, in all the venues, yes, I think the comparison with 1936 is certainly right. It is an emetic prospect of Putin glorying in this sporting event. However, he said he did not think it would be fair to ban the England team from competing. Both Russia and England have a history of football violence. Photographed Leon Neal, AFP, Getty Images Austin described Putin as a KGB thug who had enriched himself. Johnson said he did not believe Putin had been re-elected in a free and fair election, saying there had been no true competitive choice. Johnson again rejected Moscow's assertion that it had nothing to do with the attack on Skripal and his daughter, Yulia, on the 4th of March. He said, no matter how exactly it came to be done, the pathway, the chain of responsibility seems to me to go back to the Russian state and those at the top. A Russian official said on Wednesday that Moscow would not accept the results of an inquiry into the source of the poison being undertaken by the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. At a televised briefing to Moscow-based diplomats, Vladimir Yermakov, a deputy head of the Foreign Affairs Ministry's Department for Non-Proliferation, said, it is not possible to evaluate what happened in Salisbury within the framework of the Chemical Weapons Convention and within the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Deeper expert evaluations will be needed, and in any case we need to conduct our own investigations for Russia to be able to draw any conclusions. He suggested the UK was hiding facts about the case that may later disappear. A sometimes flustered Yermica was confronted at the briefing by diplomats from the UK, France, the US, Slovakia and Sweden all separately challenging the Russian handling of the case. The British diplomat, Emma Nottingham, accused the Russians of having a record of state-sponsored assassinations. Yermica responded, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Pull yourselves away a little bit from your Russophobia and your Wyland mentality. EU heads of state will meet on Thursday and express solidarity with the UK of the Skripal attack but will not directly ascribe responsibility to Russia. The EU Council President, Donald Tusk, said the EU would agree to increase our resilience to hybrid threats such as undermining trust in our democracies through fake news or election meddling. He said he was in no mood to celebrate Putin's election, remarks designed to contrast strongly with a gushing letter of praise to the Russian leader from the EU Commission President, Jean-Claude Juncker. Differences across the EU mean no new Russian sanctions will be proposed at least until clearer liability emerges from either the British police or OPCW investigations. 
Johnson said he had been struck by the mountain of disgust globally directed at Russia and claimed the UK had been picked on for standing up to Russia on human rights, Syria and Ukraine. Russia for its part suffered a revanchist bitter feeling about the way the Cold War ended, leading Putin to want to cause trouble wherever he can, he said. He said the UK would crack down on Russian oligarchs living in big schlosses in fashionable districts of London, so long as there was evidence that the funds had been gained illicitly or corruptly. Johnson said he was